What up, T-Squad? It's me, Keisha, and I'm here with this week's All Tea, All Shade, Summer House Martha's Vineyard, Season 2, Episode 9 Review. Tonight's episode was the season finale. Next week, we'll be getting the reunion. If you have not tuned in to my reunion looks video, Fashion Killer video, it is up right now. I'll have it linked down below in the comment section. It is so funny. Make sure you watch it. Now, let's get into this review. So, we pick up where we left off last week with Nick confronting the girls about uh saying that he'd been handsy with them and nick reminds bria that when she was going through what she went through last summer that he was the only one there for her bringing her food checking on her and everything and he felt like she was snaking him by trying to make it seem like he was you know violating her in any type of way bria does what bria does and walks away child with that ugly dog and them crusty feet of hers so Amir in his confession on Thomas, I'm glad that Nick isn't mad at Courtney because he wouldn't be yelling at my girl like that. And what the you gonna do, big booty Judy? Shut up. Like, ugh. Y'all know that this had the nerve to say during a podcast that if Courtney doesn't come back next season, he's not gonna return. Uh Bob, nobody's gonna miss you. We would actually prefer for you not to come back. You, first of all, she ain't a part of the show. Second of all, hopefully you're not trying to get her to be a part of the show. Third of all, nobody in that house likes her. So if you were trying to bring her in like you did this season for a day or two, it ain't going to do nothing but make it real awkward for you. Ain't nobody feeling her messy. Don't come back. You're doing us, the viewers, a favor of not having to look at your funny look. You bad built boy get out of here so um noel ends up apologizing to nick and he apologizes her too to her too even though she said you know i stand on what i said i still apologize alex goes to get bria bria had the nerve to say to him that was disrespectful how he just spoke to me i know you lying Talking about somebody being disrespectful with the way that they talk to people. You don't talk to nobody like you got a bit of sense. But then when somebody gives you a dose of your own medicine, then you want to cry wolf. Make it make sense. Like, that's why you starting to look more and more like your dog. <laughs> Funny look. Can't stand her. So then Bria comes back and joins the conversation with everybody in the kitchen. Mind you, Natalie sitting there. And she's still trying to make sure that she can leave unscathed. So Bria says that she doesn't talk about him when they flash back to what she said about him on that hammock. And I was like, girl, you did say something slick, even though all of y'all told this, it ain't that deep. We don't have anything to confront him about. Don't go back to him and say anything on our behalf. We don't have anything to talk about when it comes to Nick and Tasia, Nick being flirty with us or anything. Now, I watched a video on YouTube literally earlier today where Jasmine, Noel, and Shanice did a live on Instagram. And they were stating that when they were outside on the hammock they were just out there talking about relationships and boys and stuff like that and they said uh noel and shanice said that um they were talking about how good nick looked at the party at the freak nick party and she said that's when she said i wonder how she would feel if to she what did she say noel said something to the effect i wonder how Taja would feel knowing her man was walking around like that or moving like that or something to that effect she said that nobody was saying that he was getting touchy-feely with them or anything like that natalie decided to take that and run with it she said that they never said that they wanted to talk to him or confront him about anything so once again i'm even more looking at Amir like you've seen the episodes you've heard what the girls have to say and the fact that I've learned that at the reunion he's still going to be sticking up for this boy get out of here please get out of here please please stop so um Natalie and Simon end up leaving the next day good riddance don't want to see neither one of them ever again 
Summer, um, we found out the night before, opened up to some of the housemates about her mom and not feeling safe to rely on people. Like, this girl is literally having a nervous breakdown. Like, she is going through it. So, Summer and, uh, tells Preston and Jordan that she's going to end up leaving early. It's only two days left, and she just feels like she just needs to go home, get herself together, regroup, go see her grandmother. And everybody understands. Nick and Amir go golfing and Amir asks Nick what was said the night before when he was downstairs talking to the girls um and we see a flashback of the girls telling him that Courtney was the one that started all this and Nick was like so I was yelling at y'all for nothing and they was like yeah (laughs) and so he tells Amir that they was like this was they said that this was Natalie's fault so was I calling this girl Courtney I probably was. That's how much I don't like her girl, whatever the her name is. So, um, Amir going to say for them to involve her in it. That's where I have a problem. What exactly what you going to do? You know that your girlfriend was out of pocket. You should have been cognizant enough to tell her to mind business and to leave grown folks alone. But your mess going right along with her telling her yeah you should go and say something you could you should do this and it's supposed to be your boy and on watch what happens live tonight nick said that you know he was disappointed in amir he said that amir had ample opportunity before the show aired to tell him what happened and he didn't and then after it on television he said that he gave him a apology a simple text saying i'm sorry Same boo that he did with Mariah. Really not wanting to take accountability for anything that his ass did. What else did he say? Amir going to say in his confession that the girls were planning on saying something to Tasia. And Natalie wanted to give her a heads up. Well, obviously, Natalie lied to you to further cover her happened. Summer leaves the house early and Noelle doesn't say goodbye to her. (laughs) Which tickled me because I'm like, I thought y'all was all right enough for you at least say goodbye to the girl, but I guess not. So that night, Amir asks why he wasn't involved in the conversation about Natalie if they knew that she was going to be brought up. And I wasn't even mad at Bria this time for going off because this is one of the times where she needed to. Because why are you bringing this shit again and we've already squashed it? Like we trying to eat dinner. Ain't nobody trying to talk about this but you so Bria end up calling Nick Steve Urkel because <laughs> he tried jumping in and Bria was like I wasn't talking about your relationship it was brought up by his broad take responsibility for your girl bro and Amir talking, stop raising your voice at me <clears throat> he get mad and he run outside and it was like boy go play lacrosse or something boy ugh. So the next day, which is the last day, the girls are in the kitchen talking about guys and where to meet guys in New York City. And Bria says that Simon is not her soulmate. She say her soulmate is in Tribeca, child. And she says that she don't have that feeling for Simon like that. She says, but I can see us still getting married and things like that. And I was like, oh, wow. Do could you marry somebody that you did not consider your soulmate or somebody that you didn't feel that overwhelming love for? Because to me, if she married Simon, it would be more f- so for convenience, monetary gain. That's about it. And I'm still trying to figure out why would you even want to marry somebody who allows the people around them to be racist towards you? You got some things you need to work on, Miss Girl. <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. so that night the jasmine hosts a dinner on the beach they do this impressions game it was so cute and funny alex actually was funny for once and wasn't a robot who would have thunk so bria makes this stupid comment tom so she don't like to argue and everybody was looking like what <laughs> that was a lie um, and then at the end of the episode, after everybody leaves, they give us a six month update where Jasmine had her baby boy and Silas uh, was able to make it, even though he was 
hours late for the arrival, but he came all the way from Europe and he was there to, you know, see his baby boy, which was great. She broke down and cried. That was a beautiful moment. Um, fantastic season of summer house. These cast members brought it. There was not one sleeper episode. Every episode was bomb AF. They utilized those two weeks in that house exceptionally well um I would love next season to get another guy in the house another single guy okay um as far as anybody that I don't want to see come back Amir of course I don't like Amir Bria makes for good television even though she's annoyed um I think that all the girls even Summer should come back and of course Mariah deserves another chance Mariah needs to be able to come back um, but yeah, I like this cast a lot. I don't think anything needs to be switched up. I don't foresee them getting canceled, especially because Bravo decided to give them a reunion. So it's pretty much guaranteed they're going to have a season three and I'm looking forward to it. They'll probably be filming, um, within the next few months. Um, and I'm excited to watch this reunion and see how everything goes down. It will be in the clubhouse. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give the season finale episode of Summer House Martha's Vineyard at A. They brought it. They really honestly did. You guys, please make sure tonight to turn in, uh, to turn in, to tune in to my Diddy Expose video where I discuss all of the incidents throughout his life where he has been violent. This is not anything new for this man. This behavior has been going on for decades. So please make sure that you tune in to it. Please make sure that you share it, honey, like it and all of that good stuff. Tell your peoples to watch my Exposing Diddy series, all of that. And please if you have not subscribed to my Patreon, the link is down below in the description box. Please tune in and subscribe over there. Everything is unedited, meaning I cuss. Mm -hmm. You get early access and it's ad free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So make sure you guys subscribe to my Patreon. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.